Detuned was one of the first extremely cheap games to pop up on PSN back in 2009. It launched costing just $3, and its artwork and weird trailers were enough to secure that purchase from me. This and Linger in Shadows were two odd looking demo scene releases that appeared on the store back then, and I was infatuated by both, not really understanding what I was messing around with or the history behind it, but having fun with it anyway. Looking back on it, I wanted to know, why did this exist? Let's get into it then. This is detuned. Detuned was developed by a team of 11 people at Farbosh. They're a team that were big in the demo scene back in the early 2000s with a ton of different video and demo game releases with a heavy focus on trippy art pieces. Farbrosh in German directly translates to color rush, where rush means intoxication, drunkenness, high, ecstasy, and state of euphoria. Back in the year 2000, a 64 kilobyte video that lasted 11 minutes called FR08 The Product was released at a demo scene convention and received a ton of awards. You can find the full video on YouTube and it's still absolutely mind blowing. It's made up of abstract 3D images and animations complete with the sickest synth pop backtrack you've ever heard, all in that 64 kilobyte file. They achieved this through a mixture of compression techniques, procedurally generated textures, and used a custom built synthesizer software, which is fed tiny MIDI files in order to play the background music. It really was an insane feat back in the early 2000s. There's countless more 64 kilobyte video files released by the team and they're all quite cool to look at, but this is the one that still talked about today. As far as the game demos go, the biggest one would definitely be Krieger. Krieger was a 96 kilobyte FPS game. Textures for the game aren't stored per pixel, but instead are procedurally generated and compiled into an exe, keeping the file size negligible. The actual meshes of the game were made from basic blocks and cylinders, which are deformed into actual game objects during the extremely long loading process. The music was made from the same synth that they created for the product that gets fed MIDI. It's not actual recorded music. As far as the gameplay goes, well, you can see on the screen, there's multiple weapons that you can use, multiple enemy types, there's hitboxes, the health is actually tracked, guns have ammunition, there's pickups placed around the map, there's actual shadow casting light that gets emitted from your bullets, all the guns have different sound effects, and the sheer number of sound effects that are in the game are extremely impressive. This game is over 50 times smaller than a single photo taken with my phone, and it was released in 2004. That's crazy. If you were paying attention, that's four years between the product and Krager. Like we said earlier, they released a ton more 64 kilobyte videos and demos. You'll need a virtual machine, but I link them all in the description if you want to try them out. By now you should have an idea what these guys do. Weird, trippy tech demos. So, detuned. In Detuned, you play as this normal looking dude sitting in an abstract and absolutely horrifying world with these little aliens placed around him, staring at him with this excited grin on their face. Oh, and that music. God, I still remember this song from 2009. Man, I used to love making people play this thing when they'd come over to my house when I was a kid. How do you play it though? Well, so there's a set of modes that you can pick from using combinations of the face buttons and the D-pad. You can see all the options and kind of what they do here. Essentially, you push the buttons to go into the new mode, and that changes up what all the controls do. No matter what you do though, pushing L2 a bunch of times is going to make your guy's head morph into a new shape, and holding L1 is going to deflate it back to normal. R2 is going to cause the music to get, well, detuned, and R1 is going to set it back to normal. This causes some extremely trippy effects to the visuals sometimes too. It's all really cool. Rotating the right stick causes whatever animation is set up for that button mode that you're on to happen. Basically, he'll dance around. Maybe he'll shake his head around. It's up to you to find out by playing around with the button combos. Other than that, rotating the left stick zooms in and out, and tilting the controller moves the camera, but I mean, that, that's it. There's no other controls. So what's the goal? I don't know. I guess try all the button combos, all the head shapes, all, all the right stick animations until you complete everything. Something we haven't mentioned though is that this game lets you upload your own mp3s to it and that's just really cool. Let's load up Scarlet Fire. This would let you play whatever music you want in the background and morph the pitch around while you create weird trippy visuals to go along with it. Thumbs up for that. If this isn't the coolest thing you've ever seen, then uh, I don't know what is. Detuned received terrible reviews when it released. It's sitting at a 46 on Metacritic and with a 3.4 user score. Clearly these people just don't know what a good game is. I know what you're wondering though, what's the file size? Well it's uh, it's 53 megabytes. Is that small? I don't know. Let me know in the comments, but that's all for me today though. If you did enjoy this analysis, feel free to like or subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell for instant notifications as any new video lands. To get a high quality version of this video, 
I don't know. Set your output resolution to 4K. I ain't got no Patreon. Please subscribe, though. All right. Love you guys. Peace.